Hey, what's up, guys? Um, mm. I just was uh, playing PvP, and uh, mm. you know, I was I was thinking, obviously not right now. This is just for sake of a tutorial, but um, I was playing PvP and uh, starting on a new server, and I remembered how hard it is to really hide your gear whenever you exit. Especially on maps like the island, where it's really hard to get a good base set up on the first day that you're playing. So you're like a no life or something. Um, so yeah, these are just some general tips just to hide, like, wherever you might need. Like, if you steal something off of someone that's really good and you want to hide it. Or just, just your own, like, gear. So you don't have to, like, constantly be good or whatever. So the first one is pretty basic, but I mean, most, most people don't think about it. Um, just a one by one, like stone, preferably, or even wood or metal, if you have access to either of those, those are good. But if you just set up a bed box, and, I mean, you don't even have to have a bed, I, I'd recommend one so you can always spawn on it and get your loot. I have also certain settings enabled that you won't be able to do in an, an, an official, but, um, yeah, they, there's, there's, but you can still definitely fit at least one or two boxes with a bed, maybe more than that on official settings. Or if you just wanted to, you could just absolutely fill this thing with small boxes. Unfortunately, because of their size, you can't fit a large box in it. But this is good if you just want to put like your your hide kit and your torches and your shields and stuff in there. Um, and no one will break into these things. Like I see them on the beach all the time, and I guarantee you that at least one out of the hundreds that I see on the beach probably has something hiding in it, but it's not worth the effort for most people to go in and break your bed box. Um, the other one I'm going to talk about is, um, I don't know if it's technically defined by cheating as ARK's code of conduct, but on official servers, it's not like going to get you get your banned or anything. Oh, and I forgot to mention, always set a pin code because otherwise your boxes are locked by default. Just put random numbers in. No one's going to be able to guess them unless you do, like, something stupid like one two three four or something like that um but um yeah it's not gonna get you banned or anything but i have encountered the problem where sometimes anti-mesh will do some of your stuff but if you just put a box or like a smithy or anything on a raft and then you drive it into a wall like this you see that no one is going to be able to get to that chest now this doesn't really help you if someone's facing you and they're a troll and they don't care, they'll just break your entire raft. But most people aren't going to sit there and break a raft knowing that they'll get nothing from it. Because if it's meshed in the wall, the loot bag is going to drop behind the wall. So, it, it probably might be considered cheating by some, but to me, it's not really cheating because you don't have to hack or really do anything weird or wonky. It's literally in the game. They just didn't program all all objects to be solid enough and you can just drive through them. It doesn't even have to be a cliff wall like that. Cliff, cliff wall. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Um, it could just be like a rock like this. If there's rocks out in the ocean, you can just drive into that. No one will be able to get your stuff. Really, really OP. Um, and I've encountered several rafts doing this. This is not just me. The other method I would suggest, this is like all the other ones I'm suggesting are going to get, get your stuff deleted. And I've only encountered the problem where anti-mesh actually deletes my stuff once. It's kind of sad because anti-mesh really doesn't do its job all that well. It deletes the stuff that doesn't really matter and then just allows the stuff that does matter to continue like people meshing into bases or, you know, like parking chests and walls. The only thing that I had that problem with was one time I had a furnace get deleted by anti-mesh that way. But really, when you have metal tools, it's not that hard to make those. Um, so yeah, anyway, the next method I would suggest is um, just put stuff in dinos. Some players don't care, they'll just kill your dinos anyway, but if you make it like a dino that's pretty inconvenient to kill or hidden somewhere, like in a forest, I mean... A trike, let's be honest, most players, unless they have some other mount or decent movement in the row, they're not gonna mess with it. Like, if you put your stuff in a Paradon or a Parasaur that can easily be bullied and they can just torch it to death, absolutely, that they will 
probably try to kill it if it sees anything, especially Parasaurs, because they're known to be weight uh, weight-bearing dinos. But if you just pick, like, really non-obvious dinos, like, let's say a trike, or, like, just really anything that's big enough to not be bullet, but just most people don't bother taming in PvP, they usually, they usually will just ignore those sorts of things, because I saw a level 23 tame trike that was just sitting on the beach, owned by someone, and no one messed with it. Now, I'm not saying that's always the case, because absolutely some trollers will kill stuff just because they don't even care if it has loot or not, but I've seen in most cases dinos that are really inconvenient for people to kill, they won't bother killing them. Also, if you do end up going the pterodon route, I would say fly up into the sky, because I'm pretty sure their stamina does not go down while um, not mounted. Uh, and yeah, yeah, that, that's a good way to go about that if you are doing the pterodon, although again, there's a chance that someone flying could see it. Um, don't do that with an Argentavis, because Argentavises are known for carrying lots of valuables in the PvP meta around with them, they're basically like your little flying semi, you get your stuff from place to place. Um, and just another one real quick, that I found to be really, really OP, and in the past, and I've started doing this on my other server I'm playing on now, is if you just find like little things in the ocean, you can actually just go ahead and place, let me see, I can't even find my own box, that's how well it's hidden. Uh, somewhere around here. Oh well, it doesn't really matter where it's at, but just, you get the idea, for sake of demonstration, I'll just place it in the box. So like, let's say, I, you obviously don't, you, you're gonna wanna place it in a spot where you know you can remember, um, but also a spot that is not obvious. So if I go like down here, and let's say I place a box there, alright, now if you swim up, nobody can see that. If you swim out here, nobody can see that. It's only if they're getting real close to where you put your box that they'll actually be able to see it. Really unlikely that they will get that close. I mean, and you don't even have to put it that deep on the island. There's these little plants just along the shoreline. You can hide your boxes in that. That's what I've been doing. Um, and that, of course, is not actually going to get you in trouble with anti-mesh because they're not considered solid objects anyway. So, really, if you're... The least riskiest method, I would say, for hiding your loot would be the bed box strap because, like I said, nobody messes with bed boxes unless they're a beach bob and see a thatch bed don't don't make a fetch bed box that will get broken open too by some guy who's just throwing tools. But yeah, just placing boxes like hidden in really unobvious spots, people people will never look for them there. And that's just a good way to get started and hide your kit. I mean, if you want, you can even exit in your bed box. I've exited in there before, and nobody's killed me. So I mean, really, just the bed box is just a really good idea to get started. Now, if you're like a level like just unlock the stone base it might be a little bit suspicious to players if you place a bed box down but if if you're like if you've already done a note run most people are just gonna assume that it's a respawn point for you in case you need to spawn in that area for whatever reason and lots of players have that so they're not gonna they're not gonna try to bust into this it's not worth the effort in grenades um and yeah Hey guys, so I actually forgot another pretty good way of hiding loot, and I will throw it up on screen, but obviously describe it too. Um, you can make a base look pre-rated, and most people will not mess with it, because they just assume it's already been raided, and you can just build it so that it looks like it's already been raided, but there's actually still stuff inside. It's a really good early game strat if you just want more semi-permanent base location and then you know you can eventually work up to an actual base instead of this pre-raid one only problem is is you obviously can't defend it because it'd be really obvious that it's not rated if it still has live turrets but just just a pretty decent way actually of hiding loot and like i said most people won't mess with those um 
and yeah just just a really good uh way of hiding stuff early game the next video i think i'm going to do is um probably going to be early game pvp tips now i did like a pvp tips for those getting back into it or are new to it for the ldl servers or whatever recently and that video did pretty well but i think i was going to do an even better job explaining kind of like what you want to focus on early game i kind of just gave general tips in that video whereas in this upcoming one i want to focus on specifics of early game like what you need to be leveling what weapons you want to be maining what types of builds you can be and just all that sorts of stuff and how to deal with certain types of players too so if you're interested in that i will probably put it in the corner of your screen uh whenever i do get to posting that but uh yeah thanks for watching and um if you have any of your ideas of places you can hide loot put them in the comments like i'm curious and also you could help someone else out with hiding stuff but yeah these are just four really basic ways you can hide stuff and some of them are just downright op like and they go unnoticed now like i said obviously don't go with the raft strat if you are afraid of getting your stuff accidentally deleted but it's a great way to exit if you like are in a hurry and you just need to hide your stuff so no one can get to it or whatever great way to handle that but i would suggest obviously eventually you want to get a permanent base where you can store all this stuff or at least most of it but even if you do have a place built up it's a good idea just to have other storehouses other places in case you do get raided because if unless you're a really big tribe that is a possibility especially on official servers so yeah uh thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one